Hi there, my name is George, my ham radio call sign is EI7 Kilo Oscar and welcome back to another YouTube video. First one using the new mount we showed you in the last video, so uh, working fairly well so far. Uh, you might remember a little while back uh, I showed you guys how to make a accessory port interface for your ICOM 7300 uh, using the 13-pin DIN socket on the back. Now, not only would it work for the 7300, but a whole other host of uh, ICOMs that use the same 13-pin uh, accessory socket on the back. So, uh, we're going to have a little updated version of that. Um, what I want to add to this version is uh, I prototyped a, a new interface together when I was doing the shack refit where it uses a solid state relay uh, for keying the amplifier. Uh, basically what that means is there is no physical connection, it's an opto coupler with a relay uh, built into it on the other side. So it's got like an LED this side, it's got a photocell this side, it uses light to turn the relay on and off. Uh, so there's no physical connection. Why do we need that? Um, we need that in the case where if your amplifier like mine is old and it has quite a bit of voltage on the keying line, in my case it's got 28 volts on it, so the keying relay in the radio wouldn't last too long if you were to plug that amplifier directly into the radio and let it key it, so uh, we're going to go about it in a different manner. So let's crack on. So basically this is the one that we made before, as I'm sure you'll remember, excuse the dust. But uh, we're not going to use this box obviously, but uh, we're going to be using a lot of the same stuff. We're going to use RCAs for our inputs, outputs, stuff like that. And we're going to be using our 13 pin DIN plug. So I guess at this point we're going to need a box. And by the power of Grayskull and YouTube, I present the box. So this is just one I made. Uh, just folded up some sheet and I have it all pre-drilled and uh, painted and the whole nine yards. So let's get on with it. Then, so of most of the <coughs> hardware installed in the box, just to put the relay in now in a little bit, but uh, that's pretty much that. We have our plug. You seen me using this before? In the last one, we have the piece of wood that the 13 pin then plugs into and have them all numbered, so just makes things a bit easier. Uh, only difference between this time is we're going to use the 13.8 volt takeoff on the 13 pin accessory socket as well. This time that powers the relay, uh, and what happens is our cable will come in here, and um, this we'll go the send jack on the radio plugs in here and then just one wire from that then it goes into the negative side of the relay the other side of the relay is powered from the 13 pin din and then the plus and the minus go to this socket here so when you stamp on the pedal and uh, that will fire the relay and that goes off to your amp then so everything is isolated which is good and then this will be for your PTT your mod in and AF out. You don't have to use the AF out, but you might as well just use it while it's there. So that's that. So uh, here is our relay. Um, got this on eBay, and uh, you can see the input three to thirty-two volts DC, and the output is five to sixty volts DC. Now you have to be careful if you're ordering one of these because. 95% of these that you'll see if you put in solid state relay into uh, eBay or whatever they are a DC source and an AC outlet where you're using uh, a DC uh, supply to switch on a very large AC load so you just need to bear that in mind and uh, it's quite simple the way it works you're uh, 13.8 volt uh, power from your accessory port goes here. Uh, the send jack, the center pin of the send jack from the radio goes here. And then your amp um, connections will go here. I think I paid about 15 euros for this when I bought it. I have it uh, quite a while. And uh, with the load 
that you're switching there's a little cover that goes on it like that uh, on the amp there it's minuscule current so it doesn't even get warm it has quite a big heat sink on the back it has an LED that comes on when it's activated so I'm going to put an LED in the box uh, just for a visual reference as to what's going on there's our box uh, I have a lot of the wiring done so anyway let's get on with the show so I'm just making up the, um, the little trigger line that goes from the send port on the radio to um, the input for the box we're making here. Now it's only the center pin that's connected on this so just be aware that you don't need to connect the shell. That's our little send lead. It's only short because it doesn't need to be very long. So there's the guts of it. And that's the RCA to go to the amp. There's a little LED. And you have our AF out. Uh, modulation in. PTT. Uh, that's the send jack there. You can see there the input of that just one single wire from the center pin goes to the minus terminal on the uh, on the relay. Uh, the other two wires, the, the gray wire, is the 13.8 volts from the radio to the relay. Then the red and the black wire are there for the LED, which I put a little thing in the lid, a little bezel for it there, so it just stick up out of the top. Crudely labelled, but we'll do the job. So uh, that's pretty much it. Just as I said before, when you're doing your ground wires here, uh, the temptation would be to link one to the other and then go back to the plug. But don't do that. You have one single ground wire there. All your wires come back to it and are soldered together. A little bit of heat shrink around it. So uh, you won't have any ground loops which can cause hum and buzz and all sorts of carry on like that. So that is the way to do it. So that's uh, pretty much it. Just bring it in now and uh, plug it in and that'll be it. Job done. So there it is in place. Uh, everything's connected up. And let's see there if I uh, key the radio see the LED coming on for the I'm um, keying end of it I uh, just move the camera a bit there so you see it working there and if I uh, take the amp out standby Here the relay and the amp. So all works and uh, all in a nice neat little metal box.